Hi there. Now before we begin to creating an infinite loading, first let's make a little changes in the left bar. My screen width is more than a 1024 pixel, so we will set it accordingly. Open default.scss and set 240 pixel for the first column instead of 1fr. And now it looks same. As you can see here, whenever we reach the bottom, it loads new articles. We will create a new use effect and this use effect only run whenever article state gets an update. Add event listener here and pass a handle scroll function. Also in return remove the event listener. Now let's create a handle scroll function. First get the HTML and body element. We'll also get the inner height of the window. If it's there, else window height will be the same as the HTML dot offset height. For the whole document height, we will select the maximum value from the body.scroll height, body.offset height, html.client height, html.scroll height and html.offset height. Now to know what these heights are then just go to your console and play around just like this. Now declare a window bottom which is a window height plus window dot page by offset. Now as you can see here, window.hy offset is the position of the scroll bar. If a window bottom is uh, greater than the dock height, then log the message that uh, we reach the bottom. As you can see here, whenever we hit the bottom, we are getting the message. So let's create a function to fetch more articles. If our articles is not null, then we will fetch more articles and add them with the current article state. Now only for learning purpose I am directly calling this API else you should 
call the articles which you start after the last article. Now as you can see here it is uh, fetching API whenever we hit the bottom. Let's create this skeleton UI. As you can see here, we need small round and uh, three thick lines as the skeleton. Create a one div with the class skeleton wrapper. Code along with me and create all the required divs. Here we will display skeleton UI only when the article component is null. We will display 5 articles of our skeleton UI. Just comment out this set article state so we can see the skeleton UI for more time. Let's style it. Skeleton UI mainly depends on its styling.
whole structure of skeleton UI is ready. Now let's create this shimmer effect in it. Add a div with the class shimmer wrapper and create one more div with the class shimmer. Let's create animation using a keyframes. Just change this background from black to white. And now it looks awesome. Let me make some changes here. Now uncomment this line to get articles. It all looks good. Thank you. 
Now for this mobile version, there is some issue in the styling. So let's correct this. I should put this posi position relative inside the details and not here. Now for this tags, write a display as a flex and flex wrap to wrap. Let's add a small padding on the right side of the save button. Now it's completed. Thanks for watching this tutorial till the end. Now make sure to like this video and subscribe. I will try my best to put out uh, more awesome content for you. Thanks again.